Rapper Lil Durk is charged in a murder for hire plot. Found out yesterday that Dirk Banks was arrested. And we found out that the charge he was being held on was a murder for hire charge. We went through uh, an entire indictment, it's about like 18 pages or so. It detailed someone putting money on the head of Quando Rondo. In the fast moving, loyalty bound world of hip hop, past choices and allegiances often linger. For rapper Lil Durk, this reality has now hit hard with life-altering consequences. Allegations, shocking headlines, and questions about loyalty, revenge, and reputation are unfolding in real time, and it's a story that could reshape everything for him. Man, we'll never see a Lil Durk show, interview, no recent music from Durk. We'll never hear none of that shit ever again, bro. Unless it's from behind the federal penitentiary walls, God. But since his arrest, what is really happening to Lil Durk in prison? Be sure to stick around till the end for the full details. Let's go back to November 6th, 2020. Rapper King Vaughn, a close friend of Lil Durk, was tragically killed in a shootout outside an Atlanta nightclub. The altercation involved Quando Rondo's crew, and in a matter of minutes, a hip-hop star was lost. For Dirk, this wasn't just about losing a collaborator, it was about losing family. The tragedy left a void and ignited a cycle of anger and unresolved grief. Dirk's music has always been real about street loyalty and his bond with Vaughn. So for him and his crew, Vaughn's death was more than a tragedy. It was something they couldn't let go unanswered. Fast forward to August 2022. Prosecutors allege that Dirk's OTF crew initiated a plan to retaliate against Quando Rondo and his circle. The plot, they claim, was calculated, with members of OTF traveling from Chicago to Los Angeles to carry out what they believed was a justified act of revenge. The ambush took place at a gas station near LA's Beverly Center. According to authorities, a white sedan trailing Quando Rondo's car pulled up and opened fire. Tragically, Rondo's cousin, Lul Pab, was caught in the line of fire and was fatally sh The loss of Lul Pab only added to the heartbreak and chaos. One crazy part in all of this, Bro really thought he was an episode of Power and tried to trick the feds by booking numerous flight tickets to different destinations, one of which being Italy. You update. So by now, we all know that Lil Durk was arrested for murder for hire. As he is being accused of trying to avenge the slaying of King Bond by hiring alleged OTF members to get rid of Quando Rondo for good permanently. This hit resulted in the death of Lil Paul. As he was with Quando Rondo in LA when these alleged OTF members sought out to get the job done. We now know that after Dirk's five associates were arrested in Chicago early Thursday morning, Lil Dirk allegedly flew to Fort Lauderdale and booked international travel to Dubai as well as Switzerland. But he didn't get on either flight. Instead, feds say he was listed on a private jet to Italy. It is now being reported that an OTF member, OTF Jim, allegedly wore a wire for years. He previously served a 12-year sentence. And on top of all of this that is currently going on, Katrina, who is the village of Broadview's mayor, withdraws Lil Dirk's key to the city and ends partnership with his foundation. And according to OTF member OTF Twin, these two members are informants and that the man to my left was so connected with law enforcement that he wore a wire. You all Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. In the hours following, Quando Rondo's public breakdown was shared widely a haunting moment that revealed his devastation and the human cost of these ongoing feuds. As the case against Dirk and his associates unfolds, prosecutors are laying out evidence they say reveals a well-orchestrated plan. This includes digital communications, flight records, and testimony from confidential sources. One of the prosecution's claims is that Dirk himself provided financial and logistical support to OTF members to facilitate the ambush. They allege that his close associate, Con Grant, managed the operation on the ground, arranging hotels, rental cars, even acquiring firearms. But the funding, they say, came straight from Dirk, who prosecutors allege masterminded the whole operation. But the biggest thing that has stemmed from this case is that there was a rat in his group that was wearing a wire for multiple years and inevitably led up to Lil Dirk getting arrested and locked up, and he goes by OTF Jam. This is the guy who snitched on Lil Dirk, which led to his arrest last night in Broward County. This is OTF Jam. He's been associated with Dirk for years. He actually just served a 12 year prison sentence. And as soon as he got out of prison, Lil Dirk gave him a house, a car, and $50,000 cash as a welcome home gift. He revealed this in an interview. 
but he was the informant in this case and he was wearing a wire for several years around Dirk. For years, he was around Dirk collecting information for the feds and they were listening to everything that they were saying, which is why it took so long for Dirk to finally get arrested by the US Marshals last night. They have all the evidence they need to prove that he was trying to hire people to spy for Vaughn. I think Dirk is cooked. Which goes to show, you really can't trust anyone, even your closest circle. The fact it came out Lil Dirk gave this guy 50k when he was dead broke, and he returned the favor by wearing a wiretap and ratting on him is insane. And fans left various comments stating things like, Dirk gave him 50k, new car, house, and snitch wow. Nah, someone got a slide for Dirk on this one. Gave that man a whole new start, a house, car, and $50,000 just to pull a Judas and betray him. What was his motive? Before we go any further into the video, how long do you think Lil Dirk is going to get behind bars? Could it be a life sentence? Or will he do a Takashi 69 and snitch his way to a lesser sentence? Comment down below. Hey. Let me tell y'all how I knew OTF Jam was a snitch. We ain't even call him OTF no more. Shout out my OTF family. I remember, it was me and Dirk, Buka. We all was in Atlanta. I think India was with us. We was in Atlanta. This is what crazy, I could never forget this. I'll say like, at least two years ago, we walking and just some random person, you know, he trying to get a, we think he trying to get a picture with Dirk, but whole time <laughs> he approached Jam like he, hey, I was locked up a fool. Um, I'm thinking he, you say you was getting out of, um, I guess they said he was, he said they was, they was sharing sales. He, you said you was getting out, book, I mean, uh, instantly jam. I don't even know you fam. What you talking about? He, oh, you must get out on good time or something. So I'm looking at dirt like, wait, you heard that? But you know, everybody like brushed it off. I knew right then that this man was wearing a wire or something. Interestingly, over the past few years, Dirk has taken visible steps toward rebranding himself. He's shown signs of wanting to turn a new leaf. Recently, he embraced Islam and took on the name Mustafa Abdul Malik. Through his Neighborhood Heroes Foundation, he's also been active in community service, using his fame to give back to the city and help underprivileged youth. Just a week before his arrest, his hometown Chicago honored him by giving him a key to the city which is honestly pretty sad when you think about how quickly things can turn around, as he could face a hefty sentence behind bars. As we await the outcome, we're left wondering, will Lil Durk's hard-earned success save him, or will the weight of his past choices bring everything crashing down? Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos, and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.